I made a tutorial previously on how to play Wii U backups from an SD card, and while great and still working, I still received several questions regarding the option to use a larger storage medium, so here we are. This tutorial can be viewed standalone from that previous one, but the fundamentals are the same to a point, and as you will see, as we progress, we'll allow those who viewed it to skip some of the steps in this one. So if you viewed the previous one, thank you and thanks for coming back to view this one. Please bear with me while I bring our new audience up to speed. To set up our Wii U to play backups from a USB drive we will need the following. A Wii U with firmware 5.5.1 and access to the internet. An SD card, I recommend one 32 gigs in size. A USB drive, obviously. And last but not least, access to an internet connected computer. Assuming you've already connected to the internet, the first thing you will want to do is block future updates. This is easily achieved by going to settings, internet, connect to the internet, connection list, then select your live connection and change settings. Scroll right to DNS and change it to do not auto obtain and enter the following for your primary DNS type 168.235.092.108 and 081.004.127.020 for the secondary DNS. Then OK and confirm followed by save and perform test. If these DNS settings do not work for you, don't fret. I've added extras in the description that can be tried as alternatives and will keep an eye out for others and will add them to both the description and the comments as I come across them. Next we go back out to the first settings screen, click on system update and then on the update button to see where we successful. An error has occurred. Brilliant. Now we need to move on to our computer and download the files in the description. The first file we will use is UTIC download helper. When you run it you will be asked to answer a question. Click anywhere within the application window, copy in the answer from the description below and press enter. This program is used to download any of the games you need backups of. I'd like to stress at this stage, as always, I do not endorse piracy and strongly recommend only downloading games you have the physical disc of. Next, you must select your region, Europe, USA or Japan. Only install games from your region. There have been numerous reports online of people breaking their systems by installing games from other regions, so it's better off to be safe than sorry. For this demonstration, I'm going to download Zombie Wii U. So select your desired game, making sure you're within your own region and press download selected. A box pops up with the game's title and tick boxes to the right. Always select title, this is the game itself, and when available update. Please note that when update is an option it must be downloaded as the game will be unplayable until it has been applied. Similarly DLC is sometimes available and can be downloaded also. Alas, files in red both in this DLC download option or in the main game selection area currently won't work correctly or in a stable fashion and are best avoided at this time when using this mod. Files ticked, we press download and must select a folder to download them to. I've previously created one called Wii U and recommend that you do the same as it's neater and easier to find if you are downloading multiple games. Press OK and a bar appears to show us our download progress. When your download is completed, another window appears telling us that your download has completed successfully. Press OK and X out of the game you've currently selected and we can turn our interest to our SD card and the other files we've downloaded. If you have already set up your Wii U, some of the following can be skipped. But for the new viewers, we will start by formatting the SD card. We then need to copy the entire contents of the WP install folder to the root of the SD card. Previous users can simply copy the WP install folder from within the apps folder to the apps folder of their existing SD card. That done, we need to create an install folder on the root of the SD card and copy over the game and if applicable the update. I recommend doing this a game at a time to avoid errors, but if it's big enough it is possible to put more than one title on the card at a time. To repeat this, installing more than one game at a time can create errors and in the long run one game at a time is slower but will have more successful results. Next up we will take our USB hard drive and connect it to the Wii U. It's worth noting that the Wii U must be powered off before the external drive is connected and if the drive needs two USB slots to be powered on the PC, it will need two here also. The hard drive will be completely formatted, there is no way around this. Happy to continue? 
then power up your Wii U. When you reach the Wii U menu, you will be greeted by a pop-up telling us you have connected a USB storage device that has not been set up for use with this console. Do you want to format the device so that it can be used with this console? If you're still agreeable, we select format. It prompts you again to make sure, but of course we are. After this, we need to turn our attention back to the SD card and now the Wii U web browser. If you haven't already done so, pop the SD card into the SD slot on your Wii U and then open the browser. When open, press Y and edit the first entry to http colon slash slash loadline.ovh and change the description to something obvious for future use and save. Select the newly edited bookmark and open it. The already selected launcher is normally the most stable, so just leave it as is and press submit, which opens the homebrew launcher. Select the WP installer and press load. Here we are given several options. All you need to do is press plus the start button and then X to install the folders to your external hard drive or alternatively A to install to the Wii U's hard drive. Again, a huge word of caution here. Always install the USB storage device first. An error on the system memory could lead to a brick console and nobody wants that. All installed, press the home button to return to the homebrew launcher and then once again to return to Me Maker. Simply exit here and return to the Wii U menu. You're done. Your game is now successfully installed and you can repeat this for as many or as little games as you'd like.